So in this lecture, let's talk about um, introductions to complex numbers and conjugate pairs, okay? Now before I get into that, uh, I just want to talk about um, numbers in general. So we have on top of the chart, we have complex numbers, complex numbers, and underneath that we have the real numbers and the imaginary number, imaginary. Okay, and underneath the image, uh, the real number, we have rational. And oh, let me write that properly. We have the rational number and the irrational number. Irrational. So let's talk about the real part first. So the real, so the real part of the complex number consists of the real or consists of the rational and irrational numbers so underneath the rational numbers we have uh, things like integers integers uh, and then we have whole numbers and then finally we have the natural numbers natural numbers okay so these are fractions so these can be expressed in fractions so like that whole numbers are 0 1 2 3 and then natural numbers are just 1 2 3 so they don't include zeros okay in the natural numbers and irrational numbers are things like thirds okay and often they have like radicals so things like uh, for example uh, negative uh, 3 to the square root or uh, pl minus 2 plus or minus uh, 5 over 2 so these are the irrational numbers where they can't be formed they can't form fractions so can't form fractions okay now that's the real part now the imaginary part so this is the uh, the square root of a negative number okay so square root of negative 1 is equals to i Okay, now the square of i is equal to negative 1. Okay, so always remember that. Always remember that. Okay, so that's that's the whole um, tree of complex numbers. And complex numbers consist of, of course, the, uh, the real number plus the imaginary number. Okay, which is a plus bi. Okay, now let's talk about the conjugate pairs so the conjugate pair is when say for example you have z is equals to 3 plus 4i where my real number is 3 and my imaginary number is 4 okay now the conjugate we denote conjugate um, as z to a bar so this is the bar so z bar is equals to 3 minus 4i okay now the only difference between um, the, the, the original and the compl uh, and the conjugate pair is just a sign change in the in the uh, imaginary part okay so it's just always the sign change okay so we don't do anything to the real part we only change the sign in the uh, in the imaginary part so for example if I have w equals to negative 3 minus 5i then w bar is equals to negative 3 plus 5i Okay, now conjugate pairs are really important. Um, they can be used to uh, rationalize a denominator. Okay, so for example, if I have uh, 3 plus 4i equals to uh, 3 minus 4i. Okay, now in any case, we should not have a complex number down in the denominator. Okay. So what we must do is that we have to times the conjugate pair, which is 3 plus 4i over 3 plus 4i. Now the reason why we do that is because this whole thing here, this whole thing here, that is just equals to 1, right? Because the numerator equals the dominator, denominator, okay? So when we solve this, um, there will be 3 plus 4i square yeah over uh, 3 minus 4i and 
minus 3 plus 4i okay now one very neat trick that you can do is that whenever you have difference uh, in the if you have if you have the same number but different sign for a complex number you can go okay so a plus bi and then multiply by a minus bi that is actually equals to a square plus b square okay now it's plus okay remember it's, it's plus now if we don't have the i if we don't have the i we would have a plus b a minus b so that that will be a squared minus bi uh, minus b squared sorry <coughs> so remember the difference <coughs> when you have i when you have i or the imaginary part uh, it's plus when you don't have the imaginary part it's minus okay so uh, let's go ahead and solve this so that would be equals to uh, that will be equals to 9 and then plus 8i and then plus 4i square okay over 3 square plus 4 square okay so that will be uh, 9 plus 8i 8i plus so 4 square is 16 uh, negative i square is negative 1 multiplied by negative 1 over so we have 9 plus 16 okay so that will be uh, 9 minus 16 plus 8i over 25 so that will equals to um, negative 5 plus 8i over 25 okay guys so conjugate pairs are really important uh, also when you are solving uh, roots okay which we'll talk about uh, in the later lectures so uh, again if you guys have any questions at all feel free to uh, drop me a message in the discussion board and I'll get back to you as soon as possible okay guys so I'll see you guys in the next lecture